Hi, it's Amy again at the best food review road trip and we are in Old Orchard Beach at a little dive called the Pirate's Patio. We're here today to check out some grub, maybe grab a couple drafts and enjoy this amazing view. So the menu is mostly, looks like bar food, um, but they do have pizzas here. Apparently the pizzas are bomb here. Um, so we're gonna order a pizza. But I want you to check this out. So we're beachside, as you can see, Amy, ocean. But check out the floor here. <laughs> beach sandy floor. So if you want the sandy beach uh, culinary experience, then uh, Pirate's Cove, is that what it's called? The Pirate's Patio. The Pirate Patio is the place for you. If you're like us, you arrive here, you looked on Google Maps, you're like, great, they have a parking lot. Because because it's very difficult to park in Old Orchard Beach. Wrong. Plan on parking on the main road and just walking back here. It's like $3 an hour to use the parking meters in the city and they are monitored until 11 o'clock. That is pretty much the standard for anywhere that you want to dine in, in Old Orchard Beach, but it's completely worth it when you have a view like that. So I'm gonna add the menu right here. And it's a pretty small menu, but there's probably something for everybody. Check it out and see if you like anything. In case you're in town, I'm gonna eat at the Pirate Patio. One of the cool things about this particular restaurant is it looks like it's an old boat. See that? If you've ever seen Summer Rental with John Candy, remember the restaurant that was a ship it was, that ended up winning the regatta? It was the Barnacle. The barnacle. The barnacle. I think that might be very similar. We ordered the Godfather pizza, which includes pepperoni, sausage, and what was listed as hot peppers. And now that it's here, we realize that's jalapenos. So we're hoping those are spicy. Um, our bodies might hate us tomorrow, but I'm gonna, Paul's given me the first bite and I'm gonna do something horrible. Will you guys all forgive me? I'm gonna back, bite it from the back. Okay. Mm. It's so yummy. That cr that crust is crispy, and I got the the thick end first, so it's like nice and squishy there, but not um not like bread. Okay, let me get some toppings in my mouth. <laughs> First time eating a pizza? <laughs> Don't publish that. Oh, I'm totally publishing that. That was so hot. Paul said, do you want to wait until it cools off? I'm like, I'm so hungry. And my mouth is burning on all the levels. No, actually, the peppers are really good. They're not too hot. And now I've just destroyed this piece of pizza. It's so good. All right, my turn, but I gotta put some hot pepper on mine. Some red peppers, cause that's how I roll. All right, so to avoid the problem that Amy had, I'm gonna fold my pie. Mm. I read mixed reviews on the pizza here. I read some one-star reviews, some five-star reviews. I think it's really good, actually. I think that the toppings and the, the sauce and the cheese, the crust, it's not a New York pizza, but it's still a good pizza. Definitely recommend it if you want to go to the beach and get a pie and uh, just kind of kick it and eat some pizza. That's the one. All right, so that was the Godfather pizza. I'm gonna have to say, was it great? No, but it was good. And I would definitely recommend that if you want a pizza and you're down here and you're on the beach and you see the ship, uh, get yourself a pizza because it was really good. Guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing on the road and you want to see more, check out our other channel. It's called Slices of Pie. It's just us exploring, doing fun things, checking out cool places, and maybe watching that will inspire you to live life and get out and travel. So until next time, guys, we'll see ya.